was trying to go in. I didn't see who was marking him being on a switch on it. Uh, but it was a game. Well, that's a loose one by Sloggett and a chance here for Pats. Here's Billy King. And it's gone through goalkeeper Peter Cherry and St. Patrick's Athletic lead here in the extra dot EFI Cup semi-final in front of a packed Richmond Park in the 26th minute. A mistake by Sloggett into Billy King. You'll see the replay chair for the goalkeeper, but either way, the Saints take the lead here at Richmond. So Hickman looking for options here and he's tried to find the feet of Forrester and it's a bit of a loose clearance by Patching and that is an oh. unbelievable pass by Dara Burns. Is Maddie Smith through? Oh, oh what, what a, a goal. goal for St. Patrick's Athletic. What a pass by Dara Burns and Maddie Smith is there to put the Saints 2-1 ahead in this extra FAI Cup semi-final. These are the moments we've been waiting for in front of 5,000 fans. Unbelievable stuff and the Saints lead 2-1. Unbelievable pass and unbelievable finish. What an absolute strike. Probably one position that he wanted to put that ball. Uh, and Dara Bournes, he, he hasn't even broke a stride. It's a first time pass by Dara Bournes. Dan Cleary, I don't think he was even expecting it. He couldn't even see where, where Matty Smith was. He's run off the back of him. A great force touch. What an absolute finish. An unbelievable goal. Advantage Pats. And what a picture. Saints fans, young and old, packed into Richmond Park. Packed onto the River Camac stand here. And these are the moments we've been waiting for for months and months and months. Jer, talk us through this replay. Unbelievable pass. You can see Matty's made his run up, mind up. It's a great force touch. It's kept away from Cleary. And in fairness, I was critical of Peter Cherry on the first goal. Absolutely no chance for the second goal. And Matty's had probably one of his quieter games, Jay. But when you have that type of quality. I'd like to Sammy Benamar on the bench. Han as well, who's been a bright player when he's had opportunities this season and speaking of bright players here's Coughlin into Dara Burns who's going 1v1 here with Peter Cherry Burns he yes! shifted over the goalkeeper yes! and he scored to make it 3-1 to St. Patrick's Athletic it's that man Dara Burns the Pats fans are going mad the Pats staff are going mad the Pats players are going mad because they lead by three goals to one here against Dundalk and it is 19 year old Dara Burns who's got the goal we said it from the start Jay he's been the best player on the pitch he's looked the most alive player on the pitch he's leaving Lee he de for dead he's put 10 or 15 yards on him like Boyle's not going to get near him and then he's a 1v1 one one with a very experienced keeper and he's just decided to dinker over him into the net 3-1 I'm not going to say anything else it's 3-1 there's still 5 or 6 minutes to go maybe a few more minutes with stoppage time as well but it's an absolute we did say that the counter attack was going to be on Jay it was always going to be there to kind of spring ahead He's been absolutely tremendous tonight, not only in his attack and play, but in his defensive play as well. But superb from Dara Burns. A seventh goal of the season for Dara Burns. A couple of substitutions. And what a moment for Dara, he loves it. 